Hello everybody, Dr. Bakes here, back to the review for you all. Um, first video in quite a while. Um, I've recovered from COVID everybody, and I will be getting back to a swing of things here in terms of the answer the videos, everyone. Going into a new month here, um, I'll, have a, I'll have my usual monthly update video there. To tell you all what we come out for videos there to spot their one, but there one there's been a situation that has been brought to my attention since my absence on the internet here. Did we have COVID there? Well, um if all the country career I had respect for there, yeah. Everyone Everyone, while I do believe this person will do better in the future there, you know. I I do have to call him out for the things he has done recently there. Yeah. So. Everyone, if you all want an in-depth look on the ordeal one, I do recommend checking out Loud Convoy's live stream to talk about it there. I'll make sure to link his stream description down below there in case you all want to check it out there. But, um, but today, what we're going to be talking about the YouTuber Miss Anthropoe. Um, those of you who are too familiar with Miss Anthropoe, there he is a YouTuber with a little over 45,000 subscribers at the time of this video here. And, well, basically, the uh, name there, he first started out in the Brewery community there, but he's also done, you know, analytical videos there on different shows and movies and. The fourth of team it there, but I've known about this Hitler police since about 2018 there, so while he has done some dumb stuff over the years there, I didn't necessarily consider him overall I don't necessarily consider him overall bad guy there. Now, there are some criticisms there. You know, I do feel like he's got a bit of a bad habit getting too heated online there, you know. That's right. When it comes to certain topics, there he covers. Um, but I don't think he's a real bad guy. There he has done good in the past. There with, be with the most notable example, helping out Mid Tart, who was in an abusive household. There and Miss Ethel Point was one of the people who helped her get out of the household. So and tried to wait get help her out there. And he has called out bad actors in the past. There so. So he has done good deeds in the past before there. And watching Lyle Convoy stream there, there have been cases of people going after Miss Anthony Poli there. I think they're just a bit ridiculous there. Um, they're taking certain things out of context there and whatnot. Uh, a whole issue with certain takes he had in the past there, so... Well, Miss Anthropoe, you know, has done some stuff in the years worth criticism there, including the most recent situation there, which is what leads me to have to make this view here. He is not a bad person. He does not deserve the, harass the amount of harassment he has gotten in the past. He's gotten from different individuals there, so. Everyone, prior to, you know, this situation, the, the only really thing I took kind of issue with for Miss Anthropoe there is, you know, you you know, saying that Doug Walker was manipulating his audience there for the death of his mother there, which I heavily disagree with that take there. And he has said some outlandish stuff there, but... Like, sir, the individuals, and some individuals he had to deal with there, I can understand why he would... Why well, he gets that heat there. And I remember I had I remember getting that way myself a couple times there. It's especially, you know, with some of the videos I did on the on Qzer by where long story short, what that the, the most recent comments are by I've gotten there and devolved to people just completely ignore what I'd say there. Just try to do a can to insult me there. And it's gotten to the point where I'm honestly done trying to engage people and that conversation there, and try to come to a civil understanding there, whatnot there, you know. I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna get into that, everyone. I, 
and no attention to your back there. Plus, a friend of mine left a comment there, you know, I just want to know about different things there, so yeah. But, as I ever get a bell, tough everyone, but anyways, the point is, I cannot to an extent understand where Miss Heather probably did come from there, you know. But he gets seated there, while I don't agree with how he gets seated there, he. I can't say why he would get sick, because there's some people he has to deal with there. Now, with that being said, his most recent his most recent situation. Not gonna lie, it's it's definitely hurt his credibility there. That there, as Miss Heather probably's been exposed for harassing someone himself there, and for lying about different things. Um. The first thing there was he got exposed for harassing Cartoon Chi, who is a semi big cartoon reviewer on YouTube there, who was associated with Mr. Poi there, but Cartoon Chi decided to disassociate himself with Mr. Poi considering how he did he get sometimes online. And he ended up blocking him on Twitter there. And so Mr. Poi ended up making a secondary old account there, ended up attacking, and ended up attacking. Cartucci behind the scenes there. And it's eventually at the point where, you know, Cartucci, you know, try to tell people, you know, that there and I'll oh, kind of avoid, sorry, sorry, my friend, <laughs> my brave friend, I would buy her, make some of the names there. Um, Ms. Anthropoid tried covering it up there, but eventually it came, yeah, it's got to close associates with Ms. Anthropoid there. So there's Michael Common and Lyle Convoy there. And thus Lyle Convoy got into a call with Mr. Poi there. And eventually Mr. Poi admitted that he did have that secondary account under Cartucci there. Which is, number one, very, you know, hypocrit you know since hypocritical for Mr. Poi to do that there, considering, you know, it's not, well, it's not on the same level there. It's... It's not, it's, it is very similar to, well, it may not be on the same there, it's very similar to the different people that have targeted him there for, for different things there, you know. So, in a way, it makes him, this would probably look like a hypocrite there. Number two, he, tr he had a, he been exposed for lying about this there, and try to hide for those close to him there. So Lyle Convoy pretty much told as other probably not you know to apologize but not talk about it publicly there. But and take a break online. But then he found out that Mr. Poi made an apology video there of the situation. And thus he ended up getting mad. Mr. Sort of Poi about it there. Or he made P for short. <laughs> and so Mr. Sort of Poi took the video down. But that wasn't the only other things he's. Oh, that's the only thing he's kind of he's lied about. Everyone, except for Poi, he had discussions with those close up there, uh, beyond the spectrum, the autism spectrum there. And Mr. Poi said he never was on the spectrum there, but not too long ago, the stuff of Cartucci came out there. Um, it up revealing that he lied about that too there, and yeah, lied about that too there, and admitted that he was on the spectrum there, so. And he, yeah. And he was, he didn't want to tell people there because he didn't want to get harassed because of it there. So that, you know. And Lyo really didn't feel okay with that there because, you know, he, he has, it's a party, you know, he was, was associated with people there, you know. And he knows that they would not stoop to that level there. While they could be harsh, they would not stoop to levels of a salty one's intelligence there, right? Like that. Anyway, well, this happened a little bit prior to this situation here. 
it, this was another thing that was recently brought to my attention one, and I have to call this if they're pulling out of here too. And he ended up doing the one thing that no YouTuber should do. And that's if so many false call right strikes there. Or apparently he ended up so many false call right strikes to to the real Thomas, who I had not heard of before there, prior to Lyle Street there, but apparently there was beef between him and Miss Aether Pony there. And Miss Aether Pony claims to spread lies about him there and whatnot. And so, you know, and, you know, Lyle talked, brought us up in his stream there where he told Miss Aether Pony not to submit copyright strikes there, submit to take that request to the videos there, and just make a viewer response to return there, stuff like that. But don't do anything like that there. Well, then about a week after the conversation there, Lyle well, Convoy ends up finding out that Mr. Other Point did submit the copyright claims there. It is a bit false copyright strikes to the real Thomas there. Now, Mr. Other Point has since apologized. For doing that there, but... I expect... I expect a lot. I expect better from him there, but not from, or not just that story, but also the situation with Cartoon Cheat there. All right. Now, this other point, the chance you end up seeing this video here. Look. Look. I can understand, you know, being frustrated with people there and have to deal with harassment there, right? I've had I've had to deal with people harassing me the aftermath of my QE's video there, and. I had a group of online trolls try to make my stay on Twitter a living hell. For some random reason I never found out about. So I care to where you come from there, but. But that being said, Mr. Point, you cannot. This, this does not just, you know. Mr. Point, well, I got, yeah. You do have a bad habit of lashing out at people there, and you know, heck, you've had people call you on this behavior in the past before. But I remember that kid Douglas made a view on it there, and you said that you was going to try to bear that behavior there. Um, and is there a point with all due respect there? I really have. It's really debatable whether or not you've had had much improvement in that department there, right? Now, I've recently had to talk with some friends of mine there, you know, about some stuff, so. Yeah. And they made sure to set me straight there, and to make sure to, to you know, do I have to do to keep, you know, make sure to better my mental health there, and, and try not to do bad things myself there, right? So. Um, it's not just having a point. You end up lying to those close to you like three or four different times there are different days, right? I mean... Oh, there's only Cartucci there. Yeah. Look, if... Look, I really don't know the extent to the two use relationship you had with them there. You know, how close you were as friends, but... But if someone... Disassociate with you there. Don't make a secondary account harassing them there. Try to talk to them, have a civil conversation there, and you know, see if you could try to work things out there or not, okay? Don't don't do things like make secondary accounts and harass that person there because they simply they blocked you there, okay? Now look, there's nothing wrong to admitting to you know, you be on the spectrum there, right? All right. As someone who has friends who are in special needs groups there, right? There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Now, I can understand why you hide, you want to hide that there. Because there are people who do, you know, target individuals that bear there. You know, if they reveal they'd be autistic, they're they like that. 
but you didn't necessarily have to work, worry about that with the friends you got there, okay? Or had before prior to the recent situation with Cartoon Chief there. And Mr. Tapoya, I said, I said, I don't know the full details of the beef between you and the real Thomas, but you should not have copy writ as some big video takedowns on the videos he did on you there, right? You know, I tried to use the YouTube copyright system, right? I mean, it wasn't that long ago I heard about Kai Weiss, you know, use it there on Kumu there, as well as Jalen doing that against, I believe it was Lyrics. She submitted claims against them there, you know. And I, I remember, I remember talking about the stuff, some of the stuff with Susie Lou there, where she spit false card strikes to people who were criticizing her, how she was doing her reactions, to different anime there, and whatnot. It is, yeah, it's one of the things you're not supposed to do as a YouTuber there, Mister the Poe, and you ended up doing that, right? Now, while it is good that you apologize there, you shouldn't have done it in the first place, all right, man? Mister Poe, look. I believe if people could bear themselves there, right? And is there a point, even though I can see people have criticisms with you there, and are criticisms warranted in your direction there, I don't think you're overall a bad person there, and you have done good things in the past there. But it's but it's clear that, you know, different interactions you've had online there has definitely taken a toll on you there. It's, it's made you into a bit of a better person there, and I do feel like you should listen to those close to you there, and you need to take a long break from the internet there, and try to, you know, bury yourself as a person, right? I mean, well, I've had an overall good time, you know, here on my time on the internet there. There have been times where I've had to take a break there due to certain individuals, you know, come after me there and whatnot, you know. And be get very heated there and whatnot, all right? And over time, it can take it over. It, over time, it can take a toll your mental health there, all right? So, so at that point, I wish you the best, man. But you need to learn from your mistakes. But for tap, but for tap being there, the irritation has been affected due to the recent action you committed there, and it's ultimately up to you to try to rebuild. The trust you've had with those close to you as friends there and to your fans, right? But, but it's all, only you could do that, man, right? Wish you the best in recovery, Miss Hayler Poe, but, and your time away, but for the time being there, I am, yeah, I, I know we've only had a couple of directions there, you know. But, yeah, I, I, I like your stuff, man, but for the tab I am, we have to not watch you for the tab man, right? I'll, I'll, yeah, I hope for the best for you, Mr. Anthony, and yeah, learn from the mistakes and bear yourself as a person, right? So, yeah. That's all I really got to say to everyone, um. But next video, everyone, will be go back to normal videos, everyone. So, but, but I felt like this was pretty important to make there, uh, an important video to make there, right? So, yeah. This video is probably like someone I respect for there, you know, and was a fan of there. You know, but, yeah. Let me go back to my real videos next time, everybody. I'll see you all 10. See you all next time. Until this or makes out. Peace.